Hi everybody and welcome back. I assume most of you have come from TikTok because you are excited to book that one month in Bali for less than £800 and it's so easy to do and in the next 15-16 minutes I'm going to go through all the steps so you can book a trip exactly like this and I promise you it's super super easy. If you want to know more about how to protect a trip like this so obviously there's no ATOL app to protection when you book trips yourself, but there's lots of ways you can financially protect your holiday and I have another YouTube video on that. There's lots of information on my website, so please, please, please go and check that out. But if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the most important thing to me and the channel, please, please, please do give us a like, give us a comment, let us know what you've liked, what you've not liked. It would mean so, so much to us. But let's get straight to the thing that you're here for, and that is how to book this trip. When you are booking any flights, you want to go to a flight supermarket. My favorite one to use is Skyscanner, but there's Google Flights, Kiwi, lots of different options. My favorite is Skyscanner, so that's the one I'm gonna show you today. Um, so essentially you're gonna put in your departing airport, which I'm gonna use London as an example. We've got Bali written in there, and then you can choose the month that you want to travel. So the best months for going to Bali are between April and October, because that's the dry season. Um, Obviously at the moment we can't go to Bali, so we wanna put it later in the year. So I'm just gonna use June for an example because June's normally a pretty cheap month to travel. So we do the search and then as you can see, all the different dates where there are flights come up and it shows you what the prices are. So just for an example here, I'm gonna choose the second, coming back on the 30th, so that's gonna be four weeks in Bali um, and they're supposed to be the cheaper ones. So let's have a look what that comes out at. So we do the search and then all the different options come up. Now there's a lot going on on this screen, um, but really it's pretty simple. You have the best price here, um, which is a combination of the best price and the quickest journey. But then you'll have the cheapest one here, which is actually only four pounds um, cheaper than the best. And that's 27 hours and 25 minutes compared to this one, which is 18 hours and 30 minutes. And then you've got the fastest. So this one's 16 hours and 45 minutes. Um, but it's £621, so that one's a bit quicker. Let's just have a look who that's with. So that's with Singapore Airlines, um, and that's a flexible ticket. 560 is with Emirates, so let's just have a look at the cheaper option. Now, when you go through and press select, it's going to bring you to this page, which can be quite confusing, but what you want to do is scroll down to this area, and this is going to show you all the different prices on all the different third-party websites. Um, so the cheapest one is with Travel Trolley, and that's going to be £560. Um, if we look for Emirates, which is all the way down here, it's going to be £602 um, to go with Emirates. But you're going to want to book with Emirates because that's a flexible ticket. And obviously with things as they are at the moment, we might need to cancel, we might need to move this flight. So it's going to be a lot safer to book with Emirates. So let's just go through and see what this is all about. So £602 for our return flights to Bali for four weeks. Quite a lot of money. We can probably find them for cheaper, but I'm just showing you the process that you go through, how to use these websites, and then how I would put the whole trip together. So this is just an example. You're going to have different departing airports, different dates. Um, so I'll say it a thousand times. This is just an example. Um, so here you can see all the different flights. So these ones are from Gatwick, from Stansted, from Heathrow, all the different times that you could potentially fly. Um, and then it shows us the economy, business and first class prices. Um, but we're cheap, so we're going to stick with the economy. Oh, £598 for each person. So we're going to write that down, £598. And that's departing on the 2nd of June and coming back on the 30th of June. Now, I always check what time these flights arrive. So let's just say, um, oh, see, they they all arrive the next day and this one arrives two days later. So that's important when it comes to booking your accommodation. So let's just choose this one, for example. Um, it's going to give us all the different options. So the lowest price allows a 25 kilogram bag, a seven kilogram cabin bag. Um, and that's absolutely enough for us. So we'll select that one. And then coming back, they all depart at midnight, so we'll choose that one, lowest price, 254, um, 
And that's it. Now that we've got our flies, we want to put it into some type of calendar or chart just so we can see how many days we have to fill, how many days of accommodation we have to book, and how we're going to book our transport between the different places that we visit. I'm using the Mac calendar, um, like you'd have on your iPhone, but you can use anything you want. I sometimes just draw it out. But essentially, we're departing to Bali on the 2nd, arriving on the 3rd. We then have all of these days to fill in and then we're leaving on the 30th. So I think it's very, very important to have this kind of visual representation of the whole trip. So get that put in, your flights are in there, and now we have to look for accommodation for all of these days. So before we look for accommodation, we need to know whereabouts in Bali we want to stay. And Bali is just full of amazing, beautiful places. But I've just filled in our calendar here with almost similar to the trip that we did it, this is a bit different and we were there for a bit longer um but Ubud is a beautiful place that you have to visit I then put Gili T on there because from Ubud you can quite easily get across to Gili T from Gili T you're going to go to the Nusa Islands which are beautiful have to have to have to visit them and then from Nusa you're going to get the boat back across to the Bali mainland and spend a week in Kangu and do some yoga eat some smoothie balls and you know, live the Bali lifestyle for the last week. So that's the plan that we are going to book. First things first, we're gonna book our accommodation in Ubud and we're gonna need one night, two night, three night, four night, five nights in Ubud. So let's go to booking.com and do that. I like using booking.com personally. There are lots of other different websites you can use to find accommodation. I like booking.com. It always has a great variety of options. The prices are always very competitive. I like the way the website works, it's very user friendly um, and you also get this kind of genius discount once you've booked a certain amount of trips so I'll often get free breakfast or free upgrades um, for being somebody who uses the website a lot so we're going to use booking.com so we're going to put in Uber there um, we've got our dates here the 3rd to the 8th of August and I'm assuming you'll be travelling with somebody else so we'll say one room two adults but obviously change that if you've got children or more people traveling um, and then when we do the search it's found 2,601 properties so there's a lot to go through here and as you can see it all looks absolutely amazing um, so you can get really really specific with the filters um, so let's just say we want a private pool because you know we can go all out in Bali so we want a private pool um, let's get a private pool villa um, and then let's list from the lowest price first. So the cheapest pool villa we can get with breakfast is £92 for the two nights. So that's divided by the two people. So that's how cheap this place is. So let's just have a look at this. So we can click on it and go through to the pictures. And, you know, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? You've got your own pool, lovely four-posted bed, nice-looking bathroom. It has breakfast. Is there free cancellation? So that's non-refundable. That's free cancellation for over £102 for the five nights, we can get this entire pool villa. So I'm gonna write that down. So that's 51 pounds each for the five nights. Okay, so now we've booked our Uber accommodation, we want to get to Gilly T for the next part of our trip. How do you get to Gilly T? How do we get around in an unknown country, you're thinking? And it's actually a lot easier than you would imagine. So if we have a look on Google Maps, just so we kind of understand what we're doing here. This is Uber, and we wanna to get to Padang by Port which as you can see, it's about an hour in a car. You can get a taxi, absolutely no problem at all. Somebody will be able to help you arrange that if you don't wanna just pick a taxi up on the side of the street. Um, and it goes through some nice places so you could stop along the way if you wanted. But essentially you want to get to Padang Bai Port where you're gonna buy a ticket to Gili T, which if we zoom out, it's one of these islands over here near Lombok. So let's just show you. So you've got Gili T, Gili Mino and Gili A. And I have another YouTube video where I talk through the three different islands and what are the good things about each one. And you could go to all three if you want. We visited all three. Or you could just pick Gili A, Gili Mino, whichever one suits you best. I'm using Gili T for this example because it's the most popular. Okay, so we've gone to Gili T on the 8th. So we're going to need one, two, three, four five, six nights accommodation on Gilly T. So we're gonna do the same thing and do a search on booking.com. 
Okay, so I've done the same kind of search. So from Gilly T on the 8th of June to the 14th of June for two people. And again, we've got quite a lot of properties come up and they all look absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do here is this is kind of a party island. So we're not necessarily gonna go all out luxury here, but obviously we want something that's been reviewed as very good. So we're gonna tick very good. So only the places that people have been to and rated eight or above are gonna be shown. So we'll do that and then you, maybe you want beachfront, maybe you want a swimming pool. Um, you select what matters to you, but I'm gonna leave it that vague. And then we're gonna list from the lowest price first. And that's important for us to find the best rated cheap accommodation on the island. So lots of things are coming up. £41 for six nights between two adults is absolutely insane. This one's even got breakfast included and it's beach front. Um, so let's just have a quick look on the map. So I press show on map and then a map of the island is going to come up. So the island is pretty small. Um, you'll arrive on this side. This is where the boats all arrive. It's a little bit quieter around the back, um, but where all the dots are here is pretty much where the main action is. So we stayed inland at somewhere really cheap, but you can walk from kind of here to here in like five minutes or less. It's a very, very small island. So let's have a look at this one with breakfast, beach front. This is the main beach here and you're right on the beach by all the restaurants and the bars. It's got very good reviews. And this room with free cancellation and a good breakfast is going to be 43 pounds for the six nights. So that's absolutely amazing. So this is the one, Gilly Weldon Guest House is what we're booking for Gilly Tea. Okay, so we've had an amazing time in Gilly Tea over here. And next we want to go to the Noosa Island. So this is the route that we took. So you're gonna to want to get a ferry, which leave every morning and are really easy to book while you're on the island. And you're gonna get the ferry all the way down here to the Noosa Islands. Now, this is the most beautiful place. I think probably I've ever been one of the most beautiful places. Um, it's very, very rugged, um, off the kind of normal tourist route. And if you stay on here, which is what we're going to do, you're gonna get to see a lot more things than the people who just come on these Instagram picture tours that Bali organized from the mainland. So these are just a few pictures from our trip there. Honestly, it was absolutely insane. I can't say it enough. You're gonna have the best time. So the boat is gonna drop you off on Nusa Lembongan, which is connected to Nusa Sinningen by this yellow bridge. And the boat drops you off somewhere around here. And when we want to go to Nusa Penida, or if you just want to go for the day, you're gonna get a boat that leaves from here all the way to here. And that's how you're gonna get to Nusa Penida. But let's look for some accommodation on the Nusa Islands. Okay, so I know you guys are getting the hang of this by now, so I'm not gonna go through the whole search process again, but we're looking for six nights and I've booked on Nusa Limbongan. So if I just show you the options, most of them are gonna be on Nusa Limbongan. I would highly recommend, uh, I would highly recommend choosing Lembongan or Sinningen as your base and then going across to Nusa Penida in the day. We actually stayed on Nusa Penida for about four or five nights um, and it was amazing. So that's an option as well. But as you can see, there are tons of options everywhere. But the one that I have chosen for this example is Lembongan Mantra Huts. Mantra Huts. Man Mantra Huts. So it's free star, it's got exceptional reviews from a lot of people. If we have a look at the pictures, it's got a lovely pool, the rooms look amazing, and it's in a great location. So the price of six nights here is going to be 55 pound divided by two people for the six nights, and that's with free cancellation. Okay, so finally we're gonna to want to get the boat from the Nusa Islands back over to Bali mainland. And as you can see, there are a couple of ways you can go, but we got the boat back to Sanur, and then from Sanur we got a taxi over to the beaches. Well, we went to Seminyak, um, but during that time we visited Kangu, and Kangu is a lot nicer. I would highly recommend it over Seminyak and over Kuta. So for this trip, we're gonna look for accommodation in Kangu. 
Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up soon. This is the last place we're going to stay. This is going to be nine nights in Kangoo. So this is going to be your relaxation, your beach break, your time to just think about all the amazing adventures you've just had and just live the Bali lifestyle. So this is from the 20th to the 29th and I've searched for somewhere with a swimming pool and a villa. And the cheapest place we've got here for nine nights is the Modern Cottages Kangoo. So let's just have a look through the pictures here. I mean, the place looks really cool, doesn't it? This is what you imagine when you think about staying in Bali. So this is the one that we are going to book and it is going to cost £182 between two people for the nine nights. So let's book that one. Okay, so by now I am well and truly sick of my own voice. I know you guys are going to be sick of my voice. So let's just recap this whole trip. So our flights were £598 and then we're going to stay in this lovely pool villa in Ubud which is going to cost us £51 per person. We're going to go to Gilly Tea and stay here for £21.50 per person. We're then going to move to New Zealand Bongan and stay here for £27.50 per person. And finally we're going to stay here in Kangoo for £91 per person person if we add all that together with the flight this whole month in bali is only going to cost 789 pounds i mean how amazing obviously the transport costs aren't in there but honestly it's really really cheap to get around and the price of food there and activities is also really cheap you don't really need to pay for big attractions because there's so much natural beauty so many waterfalls so many amazing beaches it's actually really really cheap when you are there so thank you for getting this far in the video. I highly, highly recommend everybody visit Bali at some point in their lives. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please do. More of these videos will be coming every single Thursday. But until then, bye-bye.